Now is an incredibly exciting time to be alive. We are part of humanity's next big leap forward in spiritual evolution. And the result of this is a shift into a brand new way of seeing and being, a gradual shift into a new earth. And like all journeys, this shift begins with the first step. In this video, I'm going to share information that I channeled from the angels for you about what the first step to creating a new earth is and how you can contribute. So dial in, open your heart and get ready to receive. Let's start with a quick overview of what the new earth really is. In case you want deeper details on this, I do recommend checking out my video entitled The Coming of the New Earth, linked for you in the description below. The concept of new earth refers to humanity's gradual shift in consciousness towards a higher threshold of unity, empathy, and harmony. A higher threshold of un unity, empathy, and harmony doesn't mean that all of humanity's problems are going away overnight or that we're flipping a switch and suddenly experiencing some kind of utopia. It simply means that we're raising the bar. And like everything about the human experience on planet Earth, this is accomplished by our learning and growth. Earth is like a school for the soul, and that's not changing anytime soon. Real learning happens not inside of a comfort zone that is totally free of any challenge. Real learning happens in the midst of effort, contrast, and meeting challenges that help us to hone and sculpt our power, focus, and skillfulness. So the free will choices, actions, thoughts, and intentions we put into our human experience are co-creating our journey into a new earth. Again, this is not about perfection. It's about a process in which we're collectively raising the bar on empathy. This shift in consciousness happens to coincide with a shift in the vibration or frequency of our bodies, minds, and spirits. This frequency shift is helping us to better anchor and hold space for this new level of compassionate, more united seeing and being. As new conscious frequencies bathe our planet, they put pressure on the aspects of our consciousness that do not align with our unity. This is creating a massive global push towards healing. And in order to heal, we have to face what needs healing. This means we have to become aware of and deal with the things in the world that are harmful to our unity, things such as inequality, greed, lack, or war. Sounds like a big job, doesn't it? Well, luckily, this movement into a new earth this birthing of a new paradigm of consciousness is not just up to you alone, nor even is it just up to a small group of select people on a spiritual path. No, instead, this process of awakening a new earth belongs to all of us. We are inseparably one with one another. That means that every single soul who chose to incarnate now during this era of transition came here with the knowledge and intention to participate in the co-creation of our new evolving consciousness. We may each be doing this in different ways or at different levels of awareness, but no one is left out of this process. Even those who are suffering what seem to be the greatest horrors of our world are part of bringing forth this rebirth into higher empathy. For those who are suffering the most are actively facing and experiencing what it is that we've been called to heal and transform here on our way into the new earth. We all have a role to play, and we all have our opportunities to contribute greatly. So what's the first step? Where do we begin? According to the angels, the first step in creating a new earth is unity consciousness. Remember, the new earth is an inside job. Before we'll see any big external changes out there, we have to experience internal changes in here. The new earth begins with a shift in consciousness wherein we develop a greater awareness of our unity with one another and with all of creation. Becoming more aware of our unity with all that is includes several major components. The first major sign of unity consciousness is the awakening of your intuition. Unity consciousness means that our consciousness is one with all the consciousness in the universe. 
We are therefore able to directly sense, feel, and know the conscious input of others, including other people, animals, plants, and even spiritual beings such as angels, deceased loved ones, and guides. Many people on the planet are experiencing spiritual awakenings in which their intuitive or psychic awareness is coming online. This can include receiving messages from spiritual beings, experiencing telepathy, being able to read others' energy, or having awareness of what's going on in the world beyond the scope of your physical senses. If you'd like help navigating this and you'd also like to take powerful transformational steps to open up your natural intuitive gifts, then I'd love to work with you in my Angelic Ascension program where you'll learn how to awaken your intuition to the fullest. I left a link for you in the description below where you can learn more. The second sign of unity consciousness is an increase in your empathic sensitivity. As your intuitive senses grow, you're likely to find that you feel more sensitive to the world around you. You may find yourself more readily feeling the emotions and needs of others. You may find that your empathy and compassion for other beings is skyrocketing. You may even sometimes feel overwhelmed by this high level of sensitivity. Crowded, noisy environments might feel more intense for you than they used to, and you may find yourself more easily moved into strong emotional states of being. Don't worry, this is all part of the process and you can absolutely balance out and heal any overwhelm that comes with this. In fact, healing, balancing, and grounding is a huge part of the healing work that we do in my Angelic Ascension program. So if you want to be coached by me with other like-minded lightworkers on exactly how to hold your power and strength as your empathic sensitivity rises, then I'd love to work with you. Go ahead and click the link in the description below to learn more and apply for the program. Now, the third sign of unity consciousness is deep level healing. As your intuitive and empathic sensitivity heighten, you're going to become increasingly aware of what does and does not serve you. This is going to pave the way for deep level healing. Now remember, you have free will choice, so you get to decide when, how, or if you heal in this human lifetime. However, as you integrate unity consciousness, you're likely to feel highly motivated to heal. You see, unity consciousness inspires us to become stronger vessels for the love and harmony that serve our unity with each other and with all of creation. So if old wounds, painful memories, negative conditioning, or limiting beliefs are creating blockages or challenges for you with regards to holding and experiencing love and harmony in your life, then you'll likely feel it and likely feel highly motivated to heal it. Deep level healing and shadow work is also a huge part of what I guide you to do in Angelic Ascension. So again, if this is calling to you, go ahead and apply via the link below. Now, the fourth sign of unity consciousness is a shift in your relationships and worldview. Shifting into a higher level of intuitive awareness and empathic sensitivity, as well as doing transformational self-healing work, is going to bring changes into your life. You're not going to be the same person you used to be. You're likely to see and treat yourself with a much higher level of love, which will open you to holding a much higher level of love and harmony in your relationships. This means that any relationships that don't serve love and harmony in your life will either fade away or you'll be guided to take action to transform them with the other person in the relationship. You may also find that your worldview shifts this means that you might not believe in or value the same things that you used to. You may develop very different views about things such as environmentalism, consumerism, or other world issues we face. Basically, unity consciousness is helping you to become a love detector. In unity consciousness, we're better able to see what does and does not serve our unity. Love is the highest force that serves and harmonizes our unity. So, you'll likely find that your viewpoint shifts to prioritize values that honestly serve love. Remember, ascension and unity consciousness don't mean that you're about to become infallible and perfect at this. This is a process that involves learning and growth by way of our free will human choices, wherein we're raising the threshold 
of your awareness of love to a higher state. That means you have to do the work and stay humble and teachable so that the universe can continue to mold you and shape you throughout your lifetime. You see, our movement into a new earth consciousness is not happening overnight. We may experience big events that do help to accelerate certain lessons or opportunities for growth in short amounts of time, but overall, know that this consciousness ascension is going to be happening for your whole entire human lifetime. What you'll have left behind for the next generations has the potential to be something truly wonderful. And that begins by taking the first steps. Thank you so much for tuning in and receiving these messages and for liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. It is my honor to be connected with you. And I would love to work with you personally on your Ascension path if it is aligned for us. So do click the link below to apply for Angelic Ascension. Know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!